Hey everyone, happy Friday! It's 5 Day Crypto, we're back! We're going to talk about XLM on this video. Nothing else, just XLM. We're going to talk about on the daily, the three-day chart, the weekly chart, the monthly chart. We're going to look at everything. We're going to look at linear scale, we're going to look at log scale, we're going to see where we're at, see the levels to watch, what I think about it. But let's go. Daily. Currently, hell of a drop, right? And we went from, I mean, our peak at right under 80 cents to 30 cents. That probably woke some people up. But is it that abnormal for XLM? Not, not that abnormal. Look at these drops. Every, you know, one to two months, it just seems to just need a break, right? So 28 days, down 56% from peak to bottom. Let's look at this one. 22 days, down almost 50% again. How about this one? Almost 50% again, 10 days. I mean, you catch it on here. It's not, it's not that crazy, especially given the fact how much everything else corrected. Obviously, it was going to correct a little bit more. 60%, but still, I mean, nothing that bad yet. We want to not cross our 21 day. These are EMA moving averages. If you're new, first time watching, welcome in. 21 EMA, 50 EMA, 100 EMA, 200 EMA. And EMA just means exponential moving average. It's just your price of your previous 21 candles, 50 candles, 100 candles, 200 candles. That's all it is. So, so far with our drop, we're still holding Look at, look at our previous drop. We went right to the 100-day moving average. 100-day moving average for a few days here. We need to get back above that. I would like to get above this, but as long as you're above your 200-day, you're still okay. Bitcoin's still below its 200-day. So we need to get back up with all of it. But you could see how close XLM gets to crossing these moving averages, and then it seems to just miraculously bounce every time. And get close, and then bounce. And then not, not so much. So we'll see. On this one look at the downtrend it's a little bit more severe than this one and this one and this one but we have to watch that that's the daily this is a daily chart so each candle is one day so watch that first and foremost let's go up to a bigger time frame to our three day and see what we can see if it loads just three hours later we're going I can feel it no, there we go. All right, three day. I think the moving average. There we go. There we go. Now we're looking better. Okay, three day. Maybe this looks a little bit different. So the three day is just going to each candles. You guessed it, three days. And you still got the same moving averages, right? So currently our 50 moving average is still holding support. Not a whole lot to see on this one, to be honest. Ups and downs, ups and downs. We want to look at. Usually the daily and the week are the two charts I focus on most. I focus on bigger trends, bigger scale. I don't, no hypes, no moon boy price predictions, no shills, no frills. Just the charts, that's it. Look at the explosion we've had since November out of XLM. Look at the separation of the moving averages. Excellent, exactly what you want to see. Huge spaces between these moving averages. Look at the wick. You think moving averages matter at all? Look at that. Right to the 50 week. A lot of coins are wicking right off their 50 week. Excellent sign. Price actions, even though we're down, we're above our 21 week EMA. That's great. And a bull market, look at it. It goes right into it and then explodes. We haven't been that close to it, but we did get another test. Testing your 21-week EMA in a bull market is normal. It's okay. As long as you don't have price action just week after week, just printing, you know, candle bodies below the 21-week, then you're okay. Until you print a candle body below the 21-week, all is good. Plain and simple. Let's look at on the log scale and see if there's looks any different. So on the log scale, it's more like of a linear, just basically up, right? Still the same patterns, but... Uh, a, a log scale will kind of keep your candles kind of more uniform. You can fit more on the charts 
without those huge jumps. So uh, a 30% candle down here is the same size as a 30% candle up here versus a linear candle. It's not quite the same. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. But that's the weekly. Let's go to the monthly on a log scale. We'll still keep it a log. See what we got. Again, grab a refreshment. We'll load it eventually. Okay, now this kind of puts it in perspective, the kind of move that it's done the past four years or so. Look at that move. Maybe you've never looked at a log scale of, of XLM on a monthly chart. If, if not, here you go. Pretty cool, huh? Big jump up, consolidation, another big jump up. Look at our kind of bowl formation we're forming here. Look at our close back here. Our close was at 53.7 cents roughly, right? If we close a monthly candle, look how we're not that far away. If you were to close XLM monthly candle in 10 days at 54 cents or higher, that's all time high, all time going back to 2015, 14 even. Look at that. This would be work. Look how close you are to an all time high monthly candle. Not many coins are doing this, right? Look at any coin. All time high monthly close candle is possible still 10 days. We're only nine cents away, 54 cents. You got it. You're not going to put an all-time high monthly candle and just fall apart. Not likely. Look at our nice bounce. This is a monthly scale. You got to remember here. This is big time. 21 months bounced off of the 50 month. Think about that. 50 months. It's like your car. You probably had a different car back here. <laughs> but that's uh, let's take it off a log scale and you'll see the difference. Look at that. Pretty cool stuff to see. So practice with this stuff. That's what helps you get a better chart reader, right? Experiment. Don't just do everything you've ever seen. Try some different stuff yourself. The Mariah Carey high note. <laughs> so that's XLM. That's what I got for today. Kind of a short video. Seven, hey, seven minutes. We're still kind of long. So if you're with me, with me now, then appreciate you. Thank you. My name's Chase. Find the crypto. Like, subscribe, follow. All links are in the description below. We have Patreon if you want to learn a little bit more about this stuff. More interaction with me. More help if you're new. Very useful. I think you'll like it. Check it out. Thank you, guys. Happy Friday again. I'll see you on the next one. Maybe I'll make some more altcoin videos for today. I don't know. I've been off. I've been on vacation all week. I'm back. People getting rowdy in the Telegram chat. It's for you. <laughs>